going for this, chest up. We don't want to be swinging our body back and forth. So try to keep your kind of your chest level, facing straight the whole time. Drive back, right? So with your elbow here, you want to try to go down and in. And again, just really get a good squeeze in the lats. Don't don't go fully stretch like that because that's going to take the tension off the lat. Just keep that tension there the whole time and just pull, right? All we're going to try to do is just drive as much blood as we can in here. Activation. Do you usually do activation? Oh yeah, pretty much everything. We want to make sure you... No, he doesn't do activation. No way. I don't do it either really. Like, no way. I sometimes warm up like dynamically, but like... I do like pull-ups. Yeah, so pull pull yeah, 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 that's usually what I do for back. Okay, let's see ya. Again, yeah, no, it's it's, it's not wrong. It's not it's wrong. Just it's just a different weight. So yeah. Yeah. that way we're more lats. This is more lats, right? So um, working set turn. How many working sets are we gonna do? Two. So one here where we're gonna go to failure. Yeah. Right. So we want to go aim for eight to twelve reps. Yeah. And then again the next one, we're gonna use the same weight. We're gonna aim for eight to twelve reps again, but then we're gonna do something to go past it. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably be doing four reps. So I'll get one of you two to help me out. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Last next set.
something um, in tribute to John Meadows. This is uh, an exercise that you know he has made popular over the years, and it's called the Meadow Row. And we will be demonstrating it for you shortly. Do this on a on a landmine or um, you know a bar kind of stuck in the floor. We don't have anything like that here at the moment, so we're going to be using this calf raise here to do this. We're going to stand kind of perpendicular to the bar and kind of simulate a dumbbell row. Again, you want to make sure your hips stay square and you're not kind of dragging your torso like that. Square and drive. And what I like to do with this is eight reps. We're just going to keep going up until we can't do eight reps no more. Okay, so now we're about three exercises in, but you know we went pretty hard on those three exercises. So we're probably gonna do just one more thing. Um, and again, I like to finish off every workout with you know something that um, kind of uh, gets you into a good stretch position. So for back, that would be something like uh, the lap pullover machine, uh, maybe even uh, cable pullovers. Uh, but I think for, for today, we're gonna be using the high row machine. So.
old guys. That's a back workout. What do you guys think? Fuck, man. That's tough. Yeah. That was good. You guys feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. So that's how we do it here in HQ. Yeah. Glad to have you guys uh, on. Yeah. Right? So uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a chest day in next. I know you guys were asking for that, so yeah, sure. we'll make sure to get that happen. And yeah, it's nice to see uh, you know, the young blood of Oakville coming in and you know, setting the standard for what uh, what it means to be juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. these Well, we appreciate you uh, taking your time, man. We want to learn, obviously. We've got the experience. So we're just coming in with like the student mindset. No, that's what it is. Yeah. No, even me, every, it's like I'm still learning. You know, every day yeah. it's it's always like you always got to find the opportunity to learn, however you can, right? And that even me, I'm learning from you guys, right? It's it's just every single person I like to say has their own story and has. Um, their own expertise at something, right? So if that's the way you go when you meet anybody, that you can learn from them. You know, I think that's kind of a success mindset. So keep it up, yeah. Yeah. keep learning, keep training, and stay full. Yes, sir. You want us both now? Yeah, starts off. Let's go. Let's go. Starts off, boys. Let's see it. What are we doing? What's happening? We're going to go through some posing. So these boys decided they want to be bodybuilders. So they got to know the posing. So we gotta, here, let's go stand under the light, boys. Let's go, let's see what you got. Here we go. What do you want us to start with? So, do you guys know any poses yeah. whatsoever? Yeah, front double body. Okay, now show me a front double body. Let's see it. Yeah. Let's try that again, boys. We'll watch that behind Wow, this guy's got some wide lap. Good. Okay, with you. Why are you like arching your back like that? Good, Now bring all the air up into your chest. There you go, but don't lean back. Good, now with your arms here, rotate them a little back. So what that'll do is it'll show that tricep sweep will come out and make your, wide, your arm look even wider, right? Good, hit it back in, hit it back in. Pull all the air out and suck in. There you go, wow. Good, good, good. Vacuum. There you go. Wow, look at these guys. Okay, side chest. Okay, one thing. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here side by side. So, I usually have my left side, so that's what we do. So, same thing as Drew did out last week. What you guys are doing is you guys are making yourself look a little too narrow, right? So, what you guys want to do is see that if you look at my upper body here, so you can see a difference between this and that. Yeah. Right, you see how my upper body, I'm kind of twisting in a way that gives my, my V shaper more accentuated. So all I'm going to do that, no, but see this is what most people do when they try to do that. See that empty space? You don't want empty space. Right, so what you do, when you hit this, just like you guys are doing, you guys are literally just gonna keep your shoulder, your lat, hop your lat out, and keep that elbow fixed to your side. So literally fit it, flat out. What I want you to do though, with your hips, keep them squared to the side. Because what you're doing, you also have to remember that you're also posing your legs. Right? So to do that, your, your lower body goes in one direction, which is that way, and your upper body is twisting that way. Right? So you gotta keep that in mind. That should be going that way, that should be going that way. And that's gonna make her hamstrings pop up. Back up a bicep. Now, put this, this back. There you go, punch down. There you go. Hit it again. Now, I want you to play around with the transitions a little bit. So, instead of hitting it like, like you're just, just going, going into right it. So yeah. try kind of going up and then try to go back and do a lot going down and then open up. Try that. So, so go all the way up, all the way up, then down like you're about to hit a lot pull down, even lower, even lower, and then open up. Open, 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 open more, 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 more. Now put wrist, rotate that back. There you go. That's how you open up your back. Get a back last spread. Open, open, open more, open more, open more. There you go. Wow. 
variation of most muscular. Uh, so, there's three variations for this. You need to go hands clap. Yeah. Right? And with that too, you bring your shoulders forward and just kind of, if you have good arms and good shoulders, it really pops it out. Yeah. The next one is hands on hip. So it's exactly what it sounds like. And then the third one, the most muscular, the crab pose. Right? So, I'll do all three. I'll do all three. Okay, do what works best for you. That, yeah. You want to flex everything. Chest, this, arms. Good. Hands on hip. Right? Now rotate those elbows forward. Forward. See that? See that? Makes everything here look much thicker. Flex, flex. Good. Crap pose. Yeah. So, yeah. Traps, bring them out. Bring all this out. Chest. And that's it, boys. Always posing one on one. So, honestly, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you can pose every part of your body correctly, yeah. you will improve in your training tenfold. Just because all that posing is is mind muscle connection, right? Training yourself how to activate and actively control every part of your body. So when you're training, you're able to know, okay, that's I'm, I'm working my lat. I'm, you're connecting with everything much, much better, right? So. Um, that's why bodybuilders, the best time for them to pose is usually right after the training when that mind-muscle connection is established and you're just building those neural pathways and learning how to connect with everything. Because, um, you know, with anyone that gets into bodybuilding realizes that it doesn't really have much to do with the weight that you're lifting. It has more so to do with, with how well you can connect mentally to that muscle and how well you can ensure that it's that particular muscle that's doing all the work, right? So that's, that's enough for my ramble. Again, thank you guys for coming down. It was uh, a pleasure and an honor. Thank you guys for Of course, but we'll get a we'll get a chest day in soon. Because right. I know you guys were wanting to get a chest day as well, and we'll make sure to show you guys as well what that looks like. Um, and again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Eddie, the man behind the camera, for filming all these amazing videos and giving out all the educational content for everyone here to, you know, to learn from, hopefully. Um, and again, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Please share the video with your friends, anyone that you think might benefit from this kind of content. You know, let them know um, of both the content as well as the gym. We are offering a three-day trial for those that are in the Oakville area and wanting to, you know, try at a different gym that, you know, with a culture that you won't find at most gyms. Like a, I won't say names, but... Um, again, thank you guys. Subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you next time.